All right, here we go, guys. You should have, before starting this process, downloaded the link where you're going to download the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series uh, software from the DJI.com website. I've already done that for you. All you have to do is click on the link below this video so you don't have to go through all the extremities of finding out where the actual download link is on DJI.com website because you have to go through a lot of different applications to find it. I've already done that for you. Just click on the link below this video to download this application to your PC or your Apple computer. Drag it to your desktop. Once you do that, you're going to double click it to open it. The DJI Assistant window should pop up. Next, you are going to have your remote controller and your drone, but do not turn these both on at one time. So we're going to refresh the drone re remote controller first, then we're going to uh, refresh the actual DJI Mini 2 drone itself. This is for everyone who's getting that red power system error when you try to fly your drone, but you can't fly it because, because of that red uh, notification. Here's how to fix it. I've seen all these videos on YouTube, but nobody is showing you actually how to get rid of that power system error notification code so you can fly your drone. Here we go. You're going to need a Type-C data cable. Not just a cable that charges your phone or can charge your battery in your drone. This is a two-part cable. It charges and it also transmits data from your drone and your controller to your computer. So we're going to plug this part in the controller. First, we're going to turn the, turn the controller on. On. Plug it in on this side. All right, that's plugged in. Then. We're going to take the USB side and plug it into my PC over here. Now, you're going to see that little USB port move into the computer. And you should now see this. You should see the remote controller DJI RC-N1 application. You're going to double click this. Open it up to reveal what version of the software you're actually running. As of December 28, 2022, the current uh, firmware for the controller is version 04.11.0200. That's the current one. I've already done this. I'm not going to hit this refresh button. What you're going to do is hit that refresh button right there and let this power through two or three cycles of refreshing the drone. Once, it, once it's done recycling, It'll say successfully recycled or whatever. Immediately unplug this from here. Turn off your remote. Move that out of the way. Then you're going to turn on your drone. Once you hear that little click once, your drone should be powering on. You're going to take your same USB type C cord and plug it into the drone plugged in wait for it to pop up here there it is it just popped up now that's the dji mini 2 drone we're going to do it just like we did the controller we're going to double click this wait for it to reveal which version firmware we are running for the drone mini 2 okay so there's two here that was my first one that i updated from two days ago and here's the current one I am running version 01.07.200. That's the current version as of March 31st, 2023. And you'll go all the way over here and you'll click the top refresh button right there and let it power through two or three cycles of refreshing the firmware on your drone, which is what's going to get rid of that red error code that's popping up on your screen not allowing you to fly your drone all right i've already done that my drone is now back flying 
I've actually seen people in YouTube videos that have been taking their drone completely apart, which is not necessary. They're actually doing more damage to the drone by taking it apart themselves. And if you have any type of warranty, I have the Carefresh warranty on this drone in case it gets damaged. If I fly it and lose it, I pay $50 extra so I can have this drone replaced through the Carefresh program through DJI.com. All right, that's it. This is Tommy Red showing you guys how to get rid of that red power system error code that you're getting in, uh, on your screen when you're going out to fly your drone. All right, that's the fix. You got to download the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Series application. The link is below this video. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Please leave me some comments. Below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Peace out.